Hello students, I welcome you all to this session. I am Vishali Kikan and today in this session we are going to discuss about the second topic of VLSI technology that is yield and defects in the wafer production. So first of all we will be talking about yield and then we will be talking about the various defects. So first of all what is the cost of fabrication? The cost of fabrication actually depends upon the yield. So this is why we are studying about the yield. Okay, so fabrication cost is is very high it is actually more than 1 billion dollar okay we require uh, the clean rooms I will be talking about the clean rooms in a separate video where you will be understanding that why uh, very large amount is required for manufacturing of the clean room then we require uh, very uh, high graded equipments which are having cost greater than 1 million per tool so this is how we are increasing the cost of fabrication we require the material of very high purity or ultra high purity as well if I'm talking about the substrate mostly I as I already said that 98% of time we are using silicon and uh, silicon which we are using it should be a uh, single crystal silicon so it should be a very high purity single crystal silicon so this also requires a lot of money uh, for its manufacturing okay so now uh, the impurities also so if i'm talking about boron phosphorus they should also be in a very high purity so some other elements like oxygen should also not be there in the boron atoms so if it is there there will be some uh, discrepancies in the electronic properties of the VLSI device or the IC so th uh, this should be controlled and this requires a very high cost and then we have various facilities which are present so these facilities also require a large cost then we require trained people their training continuous training and their salaries so these all things uh, are adding to the cost of fabrication of our chips so now coming to the wafer yield what is wafer yield? Wafer yield is the ratio of the good wafers and the total wafers. So whatever good wafers we have produced and whatever total wafers we had, uh, we will be dividing it and we will be finding out the wafer yield. Similarly, we will be finding out the dye yield. It is the good dyes upon total dyes we have. Then we have the packaging yield. So in the packaging yield, we have good chips upon the total chips. So this is how uh, we can have the three type of yield. So overall yield will be the wafer yield multiplied with the dye yield multiplied with the packaging yield. So overall yield determine whether a fabrication is making profit or it is losing money. So we have uh, example and let me tell you the cost of wafer and the price of chips are changing on the daily basis and the number are chosen randomly based upon the general information. Don't get confused. These are not the actual number and these may vary also. So in the cost I have to talk about the wafer the processing and the packaging and uh, I will be talking about what are what all inputs I will be uh, taking and what all outputs I will be having so in the input I will be having wafer cost processing cost and packaging cost in the sales we will be making money by selling it okay so the cost for wafer is around 150 dollar per wafer then we have processing in the processing we have one dollar per step and we have around 200 processing steps so it will be making around 200 dollars okay then we have packaging in the packaging we have one dollar per chip and let's suppose we have 100 chips per wafer so 100 good chips are there on one wafer so here if i have one dollar per chip so if i talk about a wafer here i'll be having one into hundred dollar per wafer so packaging will be costing me hundred dollar per wafer now sales so these were all the inputs that i have to give these uh, these were all the inputs now coming to the sales that is that will be the output so output will be around 50 dollar per chip so now in the if i have a wafer and 100 chips so in the 100 chips i will be having 50 into 100 dollar 
per wafer okay so this was for low end microprocessors in the year 2000s so now coming to the yield how yield will be uh, describing describing the various uh, sales and uh, how it will be describing that we, we are having the profit or we are having the loss so now coming to the 100% yield so in the case of 100% yield what i will be having in the case of input i will be having wafer cost processing cost and packaging cost wafer cost will be 150 only 150 per wafer processing cost will be 200 dollar per wafer and the packaging cost will be 100 dollar per wafer so total cost in the case of 100% will be 150 plus 200 plus 100 which is 450 dollar per wafer now if i'm talking about 50 percent yield in the case of 50 percent yield uh, so you can see again here here you can see that if i am having a wafer so here also the price will remain same the price will remain same but during the prior packaging time i will be knowing that the 50 percent of uh, uh, chips are defected during the last step of processing i will be getting to know that what are the defected chips and here i will be getting to know that these chips are defected chips and uh, now here if i have 50 chips so i will be packaging only 50 chips which are not defected so here uh, i will be using the 50 so the total uh, cost will be 400 dollar per wafer now in the case of zero yield so here uh, i will not be packaging any of the chip i will be using uh, the uh, here you I, you can see i will be using the wafer price as well as the processing price but the packaging price will not be there because there is no single chip which is a good chip now here we will be having 350 dollar per wafer now coming to sales in the case of 100 percent yield we will be having 100 into 50 dollar which means five thousand dollar per wafer sales okay then if i have 50 percent yield we will be having 50 into 50 which is 2500 dollar per wafer okay if i have zero yield which means no money uh, we don't have any IC to sell out, so we will not be making any money. Now the profit margin. So in the case of profit margin, what is our input? Input was 450. What is output? Output was $5,000. So $5,000 minus $450. So the profit is $4,500. $50 so this is the uh, profit per wafer okay so you can see what was the input what is the output so this is how the companies are making big profit with the help of IC uh, fabrication so now coming to the 50% yield we are going to a scenario where 50% of the chip that were manufactured were defected so in this case also here the sales price was 2500 the input cost was uh, cost price was 400 dollar so in this scenario also we have more than four times uh, of the input cost price that we have uh, re recovered as a profit so this is how the big companies are making big profit with the help of ic industry now in the case of zero percent yield obviously the output will be zero sales price is zero cost price is 350 so here we will be having a loss of 350 dollar per wafer so you can see even if i am having zero percent yield and here in the one case i am having 50 percent of yield then also i am making huge money so now coming to throughput throughput is based upon yield if the yield is high throughput will be high we can uh, have the throughput in the case of wafers per month or we can have throughput in the case of wafers per hour so we can have uh, the throughput as the number of wafers which are able to process now coming to the defects and yield so yield is inversely proportional to defects if i have more number of defects the yield will be less so yield is y y is proportional to one upon one plus da is area and raised to power n is the number of chips so yield is uh, inversely proportional to the defects so uh, here you can see how uh, the yield is dependent upon the die size okay so now here you can see we have various defects present here so this is not a proper chip so we, i will not be counting it so if i count all of the chips with which are complete so i will be counting all of the square chips only so the square chips are 32 and what are the defected chips the defected chips are four here so now what are the defected what are the good chips 32 minus 4 is 28 the yield will be 28 upon 32 which is 87.5 percent 
okay so this much yield we are having if i have the small uh, die size now coming to the big die size if i am having the same defects and if i am choosing the big die size you can see here the number of uh, chips total number of chips that can be produced from this wafer r6 this is first second third fourth fifth and sixth so only these chips can be produced now here the defected chips are four and now the good chips are only two so the yield is 33.3 percent so this is how the yield is reduced if i am having a larger die size so i hope now you understood how yield is dependent upon the die size so now uh, this is the illustration of the production wafer so here we will be having some test dies which uh, we need to test and uh, based upon uh, the test that we have performed we will be classifying our output we will be seeing that what are the yield what is the outcome uh, of the process the fabrication process that we have performed okay so now these are the test structures and these tra test structures uh, should not go on the scribed lines okay it should uh, go on a particular uh, a particular ic only okay so it should not be in between the two uh, chips okay so now here you can see this is a test structure and with the help of this structure i can uh, test any of the chips present here on the wafer so these are the references i hope if you want to uh, find out the further information you will be going uh, to these uh, books now i hope you will be meeting me soon in the next video i hope you like this session if you like it uh, share it with your friends push the like button and subscribe the channel and if you have any kind of doubt you can feel free to contact me or you can put the doubt in the comment i will be trying to reply as soon as possible thank you so much